Hey, how's it going? My name is Nicholas Rooney, and today I'm going to try and teach you everything you need to know about the reverse lunge. First things first, get both feet, put them shoulder width apart. From here, I want you to get your right foot, bring it off the ground so all your weight's on your left foot. Take the step backwards, okay, and then drop that right knee top off the ground. Your knee is going to be at roughly 90 degrees here and 90 degree angle here. From here, you're going to stand back up onto the front foot again and then put the foot back in line with the other foot. Then what you do is put all your weight onto your right side and do the same on the opposite side. Drop that knee really lightly top the ground and stand back up. In order to do the front foot elevated reverse lunge, what you do is stand on a plate or some sort of elevated surface. And then from here, again, put all the weight onto one foot, then take a step back drop that back knee all the way down to tapping or being really close to the ground and then stand straight back up. Again, what you can do is you can either alternate or continue on the same leg for the full set and then take a break. Now the benefit all the way up to about here, which is slightly better than 1990, opposed to let's say regular reverse lunge where you can just about fit 1990 and then there's no more room because your back knee is on the ground, okay? Now to perform it weighted, you can either use one dumbbell or two dumbbells, or you can use a barbell. So first single dumbbell, you would hold it with the back foot and you'd usually do the full set on one leg first if you only have one dumbbell, okay? Take the step back and then stand back up, just like so. Let's say you have two dumbbells, now you can alternate if you feel like it. So you can take the right foot back and then after the left foot back. When you're going down, make sure you push your knees out very slightly, just like so but going, having the knees go directly over the toes is also perfectly fine. A kettlebell, you pop it up like so onto your shoulder and then take your lunge backwards like so. One final variation we'll be covering today is the barbell reverse lunge. So with most barbell movements, you would grab the bar slightly wider than shoulder width, pop the head under, make sure it's on your upper traps, take one step back, push that front knee out and stand back up. You will be able to load the reverse lunge a good bit heavier than just with the barbells because your grip is not being challenged. If you would like to do a front foot elevated reverse lunge, be very careful when you're getting out of the rack because the elevated object will be directly behind you. From here, again, take a step back and you're just going through slightly larger range of motion than if you didn't have your front foot elevated. Common errors for this, making sure that the knee is directly above the toes or pushed out slightly like so, okay? You don't want to have your knee caving in. People tend to bang and I'm not gonna do it, but bang their back knee off the ground. You can put something soft like a pad, yoga mat underneath or a jumper to make sure you don't do that. My recommendation is stick with the regular uh, reverse lunge for the first few weeks, maybe two, three weeks, and then you can move on to reverse lunge uh, with the front foot elevated. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good one.